What's up, guys? Stuff in the grow box or in the greenhouse is doing pretty good. About time to start plucking out the weaker seedlings, and they're not really big enough for me to get in the garden yet. But I'd really like to get them in because we're supposed to get some good rain in the next couple weeks. So uh, I don't know. I might try it. But the maters came up real well, and the jalapenos. Um, Jen's flowers are doing okay, but there's only a few that have popped up. I don't know. Maybe I got them a little too deep, or uh, maybe they're just a little slower. But everything's doing pretty good in here. There's only a few cells that don't have anything in them. So, I might let them go for another week and then throw them out in the garden. Addie's Pizza Garden didn't do worth a darn. I don't know what happened. It, it was really hard to keep water on it though. That thing dries out real quick. It's got a couple little things still trying to come up, but... scallions but I don't know we might give up on that <clears throat> hey got my weed eating done thank goodness man it was really starting to look bad <laughs> but well it's only been about a week since I seeded the pasture area and things are starting to come up here and there a few things here and there but uh, it's slow going it's really hard to keep water on this big area But uh, like I said, we're supposed to get some good rain coming, and I think that'll really, really take it off. So, some spots I'm sure I covered with a little too much dirt, but hey, what can you do? They'll eventually sprout. Come over here and check on the asparagus we have had a lot more asparagus come up this year which is is really I'm real happy about in the previous years it just hasn't done that well but uh, we've we've harvested most of it I think it's about done I don't see any new shoots and we broke off these bigger pieces and try to let the seeds fall on the ground but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It hasn't been doing real well reseeding itself, so I figured we'd try to help it out. Oh, there's another. I don't know if you can see it real well. Yeah, you can see it right there. Another little shoot. So, we might get a few more pieces to eat. But man, it's been delicious. I need to get my spraying done along the edges of the garlic. Just try to take out these weeds that grow right along the edge. <coughs> but the garlic's doing real well. When it gets a little dry, it, the tip's yellow a little, but man, I'll tell you what, this stuff is resilient. It, it doesn't matter. The next rain we get, it'll shoot up even farther and It'll look great. So, we'll have a little bit of garlic this year. Onions are doing well over there. And here are the rows. I'll put my tomatoes and peppers and eggplant, cucumbers, zucchini, all that good stuff in. 
I left a little more room in between them this year. Uh, my plan is to let them vine out, you know, spread across all this ground and hopefully cover up a lot of the weeds. But, you know, weeds are a never-ending battle, so sometimes you just got to wade through them to pick your vegetables. But I promise you that stuff will still grow through them. Jen's just getting done watering green beans, this row, and the onions. Now these are the onions on the left that we most recently planted, and it got hot this week, so we kept as much water on them as we could, but, but that's okay. They'll come right out of it as soon as they shoot their roots down and get a little deeper they'll pick up the ground moisture and they'll end up looking just like these other ones they look pretty good their tips are getting a little burnt too but onions and garlics about one of the easiest things to grow you can literally almost just throw the stuff on the ground and it, it'll take off so we try not to we don't have a good watering system yet uh, eventually Let's walk over here eventually I want to get some drip irrigation equipment and a real strong pump I've got a couple tanks I could I'm still reviewing ideas going over stuff in my head but got a couple of, I think 250 gallon tanks that I could pump pond water out of with a gas pump and put up by the house and then have an electric pump up there but my problem is I guess I could have an electrician at some point come out and there's my power pole right there which is a long way away from the house maybe I could have a, a couple outlets wired in there and run over here to the corner of the pond with an electric pump but you guys will see we've got to pump it uphill quite a ways that water's down there pretty well it's hard to tell in the camera but but uh got a never-ending water supply there so i don't like pumping out of my well for the garden we we really just do as minimal a job as we can with that i'm not worried that it's going to dry up or anything but you know it's got to be hard on the well pump we just replaced that last year that wasn't cheap so <laughs> Don't want to be doing that a lot, but so I'm still trying to get a plan on getting some drip lines out here. I think that's the best way to go. Then you're not watering the weeds and you're just getting the water on the plants that need it, that you want to have it. And uh, that's the best way to do it. And being as, I know it looks big, and it's a decent size compared to most people's home gardens, but but it really wouldn't take a ton of irrigation stuff. I mean, I think I can buy a kit for, oh, uh, I think there's one for 145 bucks that'll do it. Um, and I could actually run that off of our well, but I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of that. I've got that huge pond and access to it. It's not mine, but I've got access to the water, so um, I think that's probably the best route to go. So, I don't know. For me, this stuff's all just a one big giant experiment. But I just do the best I can with what I got. And, uh, try to raise, raise some good food for my family and I don't know I love it but I also don't have an un, unlimited supply of money so <laughs> we work with what we got around here the flowers are looking good up by the house my wife really does well with those
Need to get those stumps cut out at some point. Ugh. Always a lot of work to do when you own a little bit of land. Or at least rent it off the bank. <laughs> hey baby. This is what my daughter does while we're out here. She is true hillbilly. What are you doing? Making mud. Making mud? <laughs> now don't be throwing that on me. Or the dog. You little rotten turd. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just happy she likes to be outside. I don't care what she does out here. You gonna get cleaned up before you come in? Huh? You better. I'm gonna sit on your chair while I'm muddy. You gonna sit on my chair while you're muddy? You better not. Oh, she's awesome. Oh, I have a I have a special chair called the Motherific chair. Awesome. You guys want to see what my dog does to frisbees? This is the toughest frisbee we can find, and it lasts about a day usually. But he still loves to go get it. Don't you, bud? Show him what you can do. Good boy. I know, I can't throw it very far because you got a giant hole in it, bud. Good catch. Alright, well it's hard for me to throw this in the camera and show you what he can really do, but he'll run clear across the yard and catch it midair. He's a pretty awesome dog. Good boy. And man, he loves to play. Yeah, don't you? Don't you? He loves to play. All right, tell them bye-bye. All right, guys, that's the quick, well, not so quick now, but that's the garden update. Here in a month or so, I hope to have a, a bunch of stuff. Now, don't be doing that, babe, I'm serious. I'm just gonna hug you. No, not like that, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I'm serious. <laughs> You need to go get cleaned. Go get cleaned off. Oh, but anyways, hopefully about a month or so, we'll have a lot of stuff to show you out here growing. It's just been a cold year so far, but uh, all right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good Saturday. See ya.